going mm -hmm. to introduce Zachary now as okay. the vice director of Danish Technological Institute, but also the sous chef, as it seems. Yeah, sous chef in Danish. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult to, to translate these things, but that's, that's the translation. Yeah. What is uh, sous chef is Danish for director? Yeah, yeah. Twice sort direct of a director type of, of it's it's not the yeah yeah it's it's like it's the person well it's an old saying from from uh, I think from a uh, chef uh, when yeah. you're in a, in a kitchen, kitchen right my friend right? my friend is yeah. sous chef with which is yeah, why yeah, I yeah, brought yeah, yeah. and it's uh, in Danish it, it it translates to yeah personnel chef uh, chef you know that kind of stuff so yeah very good so that's that's what I'm doing now yep well okay. Zachary, uh, vice vice director of Danish Technological Institute, uh, mm -hmm. talking about e textile, e -textile sensors and more. So, my name is Zachary Davis. I'm a vice director at the Danish Technological Institute. Um, I will uh, tell you first a little about DTI because it's not it's one of the lesser known uh, research and technology organizations in Europe, but it was actually founded in 1906 by Gunnar Gregersen. Uh, with the sort of vision that uh, to bridge the gap between, you know, uh, research and development and, and industry. And actually, actually, that's the same, uh, the same ideology we are working with today. We are an approved RTO for the, uh, by the Danish Ministry of Higher Education and work uh, with a huge range of, I think we're over a thousand employees across Denmark, working with uh, technologies like food technology, uh, energy technology uh, even uh, we even build uh, electromagnetics electromagnetic electromagnets for for synchrotrons so we have quite a lot of, of uh, quite broad broad uh, applications um if you look at our, our breakdown of our turnover just to show we are actually quite commercial uh, rto uh, over uh, 70 percent of our our turnover is from danish or internal or sorry international commercial activities uh, we also have a quite a big chunk from R&D activities, and this could be European or national projects. And then we get a little bit of, a, of, of base funding from the Danish government, around 10% uh, of our turnover is, is in the form of a performance contract. Um, at DTR Print and Electronics, we have a group working within uh, trying to, to span uh, across the, the entire value chain of uh, print electronics, all the way from material development and, and pilot production. So we actually have chemists and, and formulation chemists and, and, and material chemists working on novel materials. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about that today. We also have ink formulation. So trying to take the materials, put them into, di into different types of inks for different types of printing technologies, for example, screen printing, inkjet printing, uh, adhesives, etc. cetera. Uh, we also have a print co uh, com printed component prototyping and pilot production lab. So uh, we, we are not going to full scale production like uh, you saw with Kone, but we have a lot of equipment that can do the process development prototyping in, in a sort of a, I'll, I would say, uh, um, not, not uh, fully uh, high volume, but I would say medium, uh, medium volume. And finally, we have a lot of testing validation uh, technologies. So in order to really perform standardized climate testing, stretch and mechanical testing, uh, even testing all the materials themselves, we can do, you know, testing across the uh, across the entire value chain as well. Yes. Um, just to show how we work, I mean, we are an RTO, but we, in, in the terms of a commercial collaboration, we actually have quite a lot of dialogues with the participants. We provide offering, we do the work when the offering is, of course, accepted, and then we, we, we deliver reports, prototypes, and that could be in the form of uh, consultation, or, or even uh, yeah, physical hardware. We are working a lot with uh, production. I would say depending on, on what application or what, what project we're looking into. Uh, in tor in, in, uh, with respect to the laboratories, uh, we have quite a lot of laboratories uh, working in with print electronics. Uh, both of the material and, and ink, fab uh, ink formulation laboratory are, are uh, working on not just making things on a small scale, but also scanning it up. Uh, you can see here in the, in the upper uh, left-hand corner, a, a uh, material reactor, which is actually producing kilos of, of, uh, of uh, micro and nanomaterial per day. So it's not only just making it for, for, for testing, but actually trying to upscale the production in this case. And then of course the formulation are even the same way. Uh, in the print, uh, printing a lab, we have a 